All right, so today we have another specimen for our featured uh, minerals and rocks section. And today the feature is this guy. Uh, you might be familiar with what this is. This is a some kind of mineral. Um, I never say right at the beginning because I let you guys have a chance to guess at it. Uh, but some of you might know exactly what this is right away. Um, and there you go. There's some perspective of size. This is a pretty cool sample um, that I dug out and it was a really fun dig. Uh, I actually put a video up, I think, of that dig here at Let's Go Geo. So if you want to see that, you can. Um, so when I explore mines or go on certain digs, sometimes, sometimes I'm able to get um, some footage of it and show you guys when I'm on the spot. Otherwise, I do some collecting and then talk about them after the fact, but yeah, uh, this one is has a fairly recognizable crystal shape, so if you're getting into rock hounding and mineral collecting, you might know what this is. Um, the clary is actually pretty good with this. It Obviously, you can see it's chipped, and I haven't cleaned it. A lot of times I don't clean them unless I want to do something with them. Just kind of leave them the way they are for now. Um, it's just been kind of in my collection and um, you can see nice sample though still uh, very large got some weight to it um, you can see the crystal faces pretty nicely on this one so on this particular one I will just let you guys drop your comment uh, as to what you think it is and then I will let you know that this is actually the large pointed top of a quartz crystal. So this is a quartz crystal and yeah, it's a pretty large one. Again, that's my hand and uh, you can see how big that guy is. So really like this. Um, obviously it's, sometimes you get more of the elongated portion of the crystal. This is just sort of that, you know, not that, that much but still decent that's um that's still about an inch for perspective um so it's still a rather large crystal but i just think it's really beautiful really cool specimen uh, i really like the the raw samples like this like i said normally don't do too much to them just because i like to study them learn about them and keep them pretty close to how i found them um, sometimes I'll clean it up like this one could have the dirt cleaned off of it, but yeah So this was found in an area that had a lot of quartz crystals actually it was a and and a lot of them were either very large or had a lot of clarity so really cool really exciting if you want to see um, some of the digs that I've done uh, Yeah, I put some of those up here and if you want to learn more about minerals like if you want to actually know how to identify quartz, where to find it, what the properties are, and get into the details of that. I do a whole separate video on that, so just check that out. It's in the minerals playlist, and I talk all about minerals on an individual level and talk about their properties and um, show some samples and stuff like that. So check out the minerals playlist. Otherwise, I will take you on another geo field trip soon, and uh, we'll go on another adventure here at Let's Go Geo. So I'll see you guys next time.